This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how you can create a vector silhouette out of any image using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So to get this started I'm going to use this image here for this tutorial as an example of headphones and I'll have a link to that in the description. Just go ahead and download that image and I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to have Inkscape open and I'm going to uh, minimize Inkscape and I'm going to click and drag this file and drag it into Inkscape and it's going to ask if you want to embed or link it. I'm just going to go ahead and embed it. We can maximize this back up again and there we have our image. So now that we have that in Inkscape, let's go to view. Make sure you have it set to custom. We're going to zoom in at 100% and um, let me uh, open up the align and distribute menu with this button right here. Make sure you have last selected chosen from that drop down, and then we'll go to the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So to create a silhouette from this image, uh, a technique you may be familiar with is using trace bitmap, but that doesn't always work, and let me show you why. We'll go to path, trace bitmap, and what this does, if you don't know, is it pretty much just traces, it traces a black and white uh, vector outline over whatever raster image you have selected. So I'm gonna come down to color quantization, I'm going to drop the colors down to two. I'm going to click update and it's going to see what it looks like here in the menu. So I'm going to click OK to render that just to show you. Now this looks pretty, um, it, it, it looks like a silhouette of the image, but it's not very, um, it's not very crisp or clear. It's a little sloppy and uh, it, it wouldn't be very good to use. And the reason why we get that with this program is because this program takes an image and separates um, it's, it takes all the colors and separates it into black, either black or white. And if there's not enough contrast between the subject and the background, uh, the bitmap function in Inkscape is not going to grab it all the way. So how I like to work around this is there's actually several ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you the way that I like to use because I think it's the quickest. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to right click it and go to copy. And then I'm going to open up GIMP. If you don't have GIMP, I would suggest downloading and installing it. Uh, it it's, it's an open source uh, raster image manipulation program similar to Photoshop and it's free to download. You just go to GIMP.org. And the reason why my window looks like this and not in three panels, GIMP opens in three panels by default, is because I went to Windows and we're going to go to single window mode. I just like that mode better. And once we're in GIMP, I'm just going to go to edit, paste. And there's our image right there. So what I'm going to do now is, in order to make the, uh, the bitmap function in Inkscape work better, we need to uh, further separate the, the subject from the background. And we're going to do that by coloring in the subject black. We're going to use the paintbrush. And I'm going to use, um, from this brush, I'm going to use a more solid brush. And for the size, uh, let's bring this up to, I'm going to bring this up to 30. And I'm going to zoom in on this image by just holding control and rolling up on the mouse wheel. And you could pan the page around by pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along the edges and color them in like that. And I'm going to, I'm going to do this a little, um, a little quick, not to waste your time with this video too much, but uh, so the, you know, the edges aren't going to be as clear and crisp as they could be if you really took your time with this but I'm just gonna go ahead and color this all in just to show you how it works. I'm gonna color in all of the edges and then for the wires this brush is a little too big so I'm gonna bring the size down to 10 see how that works. Oops, let me just let me just write in 10 and we can just go along the wires and color that in as well just like that and we're gonna do this with the whole image. We're gonna color the whole thing in we're going to make it so the whole image is painted in black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish coloring this in and I'm going to hit pause on the video while I continue doing that. And then once I'm done coloring it in, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I finished coloring in the, um, the, uh, the subject here in this image. And as you can see, this is not the, um, the best job I've ever done tracing over something. This is a little on the sloppy side, but I just did this really quickly just to illustrate how to do this with Inkscape. So once you're finished coloring it in like that, um, hopefully yours came out a lot nicer than I did than mine did. Um, once you're done, we're going to go to colors and then go to threshold. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to separate every color into either black or white. And as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. There's a little bit showing through right there. You can adjust that by playing with this slider. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. You can slide that left or right to, to you know, just to uh, control how much comes through. And once you're done, you just go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to take that image. We're going to go to Edit, Copy. We'll go back to Inkscape. And let me zoom out. I'm going to hold Control on the mouse wheel. I'm going to hold Control and roll down on the mouse wheel to zoom out. And I'm just going to uh, right click on the canvas and go to Paste. And there's our image right there. And now let's try to run the trace bitmap on that path. Trace bitmap. And we'll do color uh, quantization. We'll start out at colors being two. Or we start out at the lowest. Go to update. And in the preview window, we have nothing. So nothing registered in that one. So let me try using, let me bump that up to three and see how that works. Okay, there we have something. But the problem is the, uh, the background is dark and the, uh, the subject is transparent. We want the opposite. So we're just going to click on the invert button and then click update and see how that looks. And that's pretty good. We can go ahead and click OK and close out of this. And as you can see here, I went and created a vector tracing of um, that sloppy uh, drawing that I made in GIMP. And this will now function just like a vector. You can change the colors, you can edit the nodes individually like that, or you can run path, um, you can run path functions on it. And that's pretty much it. That is one way you can do that. Uh, using Inkscape. There's also other ways, like I mentioned. Um, you could, you could. I mean, in Inkscape, you could use the Bezier pen and just trace over the whole thing, but that I think that would take a lot more time. Uh, or you could also use the calligraphy pen and just color it in like that. But again, that's um, just like you would in GIMP. But with that, the problem with that is you're creating um, all those additional pads, and I've run into problems with system memory when I've done that. But with with GIMP, when we're doing this with pixels, it just seems to work a lot easier. So. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.